One New Mexico man spent 550 days in the hospital after being diagnosed with COVID-19. So after being away from his family for more than a year, Donnell Hunter was finally able to go home. <laughs> it is a sigh of relief for so many. And Spencer Schott caught up with the Roswell family today as they're starting to settle in. So Spencer, I'm sure they are thrilled and it sounds like they're not the only people excited to see Donnell back. Tommy, that's right. It seemed like the whole town of Roswell rolled out the red carpet for his return. He even got a police escort as he was driven in from Albuquerque. <laughs> Driving into Roswell Friday, signs of encouragement line the road, all greeting Donnell Hunter as he came home after more than a year in a hospital bed. How does it feel to be home? Oh, man. It's, uh, can't even put it into words. 550 days ago Saturday, Donnell was checked into the hospital. All because of COVID. Because of his condition, he was heavily sedated and on a ventilator for most of that first year. I lost usage of my hands, of my arms, everything, my legs. So I had to wait for all that to come back and do a lot of rehab. Um, speech therapy, learn how to eat, learn how to swallow. I was having to learn everything all over again. While he's still recovering, his wife says he's come a long way. I, I tell him it's like having a newborn because it, like his first steps is just like the milestone. And, and she had a lot of work to do too. So this is the ventilator. And he's only on that at night. Making sure their home was ready for his return. Because I wanted him to come home and feel like home. And I didn't want to feel like we're in a hospital. So I tried to make things as least hospital looking as possible. But for Donnell, being home is a dream come true. I was like, thank God when I woke up, I wasn't dreaming. It was real. You know, it was real. I wasn't dreaming that I was home because when I was in the hospital, I had many dreams that I was already home. But this is a reality, and he's catching up on everything he missed out on. I met my grandson for the first time. It was amazing. He's a year now, and he act like he had been knowing me all his life. While everyone is excited to have him back, they still have a long road ahead of them. If it takes a year for him to get back to his normal, we'll be here every step of the way. If it takes five years or even if he never gets the same, we're, we're happy. But together, they're going to take it one day at a time. The Lord knows what he has installed for me. I don't. He's brought me this far, so I'm just going to trust in the Lord. Whatever he brings my way, that's what I'll deal with. Such an inspiring story. You could hear the nurses and doctors clapping for him as he was leaving the hospital on Friday. Now, before Donnell could come home to his family, five family members had to go through a 48 hour training in the hospital to learn how to take care of him. And now they're putting that to work at home.